hello everyone welcome back to the channel this is Danny and today I just wanted to come to you guys with a video about embodiment okay now I know that a lot of people would like to know how to live in the wish fulfilled how do I embody the person that already has their desired reality and I'm just gonna be truthful with you guys for the last month I have really been focusing on waking up each day and deciding and making a choice that today I am living in my desired reality. So I figured I'd come to you guys and just give you some of the things that has been working for me because on this channel I want you to know that the things that I share with you I have been doing myself and these are things that I've been doing for my clients and I'm getting results so maybe you can try some of these things out for yourself and then let me know in the comments if you're already doing this or if you actually can use this or when you do try it come back in the comments and let us know how it's going because the truth be told I want us all to feel like we're helping each other this is a community and under the community of law of assumption law of attraction or just like people who love to manifest their dream life we can all use a little bit of help from each other okay so basically I was meditating and asking my higher self in state of kin to sleep as I fall asleep, what can I do to start really feeling as if I already have my desired reality? I know that I'm saying my affirmations, I'm listening to my affirmations. You guys can check that out on the channel. I have them above here if you just click up here. The latest affirmation tape that I have for you guys is really truly something that has been getting results. <laughs> so. I asked my higher self, like, okay, so what can I do to just start feeling as if it's done? Like, I don't feel like I have to do anything else. Just decide that it's mine. And what I got after meditating for like three or four days consecutively on the question is, what are you willing to let go of? That's what I got. What are you willing to let go of? Meaning, like, what negative thoughts are you willing to let go of what toxic relationships are you willing to let go of what inner conversations that have no purpose in your life what are you willing to let go of also too what are you willing to now believe about yourself that would benefit you so what i decide is that i'm going to get rid of and i'm not available for i'm not available for the negativity of watching people online tell me what I can and can't not have. I'm not available for the rules of manifestation anymore. I'm not available with toxic people in my life that are bringing my vibration down. I'm not available for doubting myself anymore and just trying so hard to do things when the natural way of manifestation is to live in a way that is pleasing to you, to follow your joy to follow the path of least resistance and true embodiment of your desired reality the person who has everything that they desire is really about now that you have your desired situation going on what can you do to start taking inspired action because you know it's one thing to say okay i am her already I, I have my, my things already. I'm doing my affirmations. I'm accepting that I'm in my new reality. But with the law of assumption, if we are to live in the wish fulfilled, what are we doing each and every day? So when you have the, the metaphysical side of the feminine aspect, which is meditation, it's affirming, it's easygoing, and then you have the masculine side, which is the taking action and putting that together, I like to call it taking inspired action. So this is something that my higher self kept telling me, like, what are you willing to let go of? I'm willing to let go of needing to work so hard at manifesting. And I'm willing to start allowing myself to receive the messages that I need to start taking inspired action. That's what I want you guys to understand. So when you're looking to manifest your desires and you want all these things to start happening to you at once, Things started happening for me very quickly when I made a decision that it's not about getting to the stuff because we're manifesting 24 seven, but consciously making a decision each and every day that you're going to wake up and choose your desired reality. And you're going to allow yourself to receive 
that's where the sweet spot starts to happen. The sweet spot of consciously manifesting your life is really allowing yourself to relax and be natural about the way that you're manifesting things. You know, all the techniques that you're doing is really to keep you focused on the end result or to keep you in alignment or to get you in a vibration that is in alignment with your desire. But the truth be told, you don't need techniques. You don't need coaches. You don't need those things to manifest. And so what I have been doing for like the past month is focusing on living as my authentic self, focusing on healing my internal little girl who had all these quote-unquote limiting beliefs just like nurturing my inner self talking to myself in a way that is calming and soothing you know i don't want you guys to think that anything that i share on this channel is like me just you know giving you clickbaity stuff no these are things that i know work for me and they're things that I have seen work for other people that um, are my clients or just people in the comments. But just like really going within and deciding, declaring with conviction that I am ready to receive. These are the three words I want you to like etch into your mind. Tell your higher self, I am ready to receive. When I started saying over and over and over, I am ready to receive. What are you ready to receive? I am ready to receive $10,000 in my bank account. I am ready to receive my specific person and I living a beautiful, healthy, happy, whole life with lots and lots of love. Type down in the comments and let me know what are you ready to receive? You know, it's not really hard to make a decision when you are just so ready. It's like, oh, I'm ready for this. And I want more out of my life when it comes to growing and learning more about the law of assumption, learning more of like Neville's teachings and also delving into like um, Florence Scovel Shin. I don't just study just the law of assumption, even though this channel has, you know, a lot of law of assumption topics. But I have learned that when you open your mind to receiving, you receive more knowledge, you receive more love, all the receiving and that energy of receiving, you start to experience more. I know it's not just me. You're ready to receive your, your relationship. You're ready to receive the money and the raises. You're ready to receive that feeling of knowing that you are that chick. You have it all together. You have a life that you love. When you wake up in the middle of the night at 3 o'clock in the morning and you're just like, wow, my life is good. Or when you wake up at 12 noon, wow, my life is good. When you go to sleep at night at 6 p.m. or 9 p.m. or 10 p.m., whenever you go to sleep and you say, wow, my life is good, you're making the assumption that your wish has been fulfilled. I want you to know that consciously manifesting your life is not hard, but it's going to require for you to start embodying the person who literally shows up being who that person is and also opening yourself up to take inspired action towards your manifestation. I also wanted to read just a little snippet of something from the novel reader. Um, it's from chapter 22 of The Prayer, The Art of Believing. Okay, I love this because it reminds me of all the things that we see on YouTube about the imagination is where you're supposed to dwell. So I just wanted to leave you guys with this little tidbit of knowing that you are the operant power, okay? So basically, this is from The Greatest Prayer. Just a little snippet. Imagination is the beginning of creation. You imagine what you desire, and then you believe it to be true. Every dream could be realized by those self-disciplined enough to believe it. People are what you choose to make of them, a man slash woman is according to the manner in which you look at them. You must look at them with different eyes before they will objectively change. Now, for those of you who are thinking about your specific person, this works really, really beautiful. Or if you're just thinking about this as a particular thing that you're looking to change your perception around. It could be um, the way that you look at money. It could be the way that you look at your body or your weight. So learn how to change the way that you see things because what he's saying basically is you must look at the thing differently with different eyes before it will objectively change. That's how I interpreted it with anything, 
you know, because sometimes people think that Neville's readings are like, you know, it's like hard to understand and interpret. But I just think that the way that they wrote back in those days were a little bit kind of like a old English. But I'm, I'm willing to trust my intuition to know that I'm interpreting it in a way that you're going to resonate with. So if you want things to change in your life when it comes to your imagination, see things as you wish for them to be. See them with new eyes. The past, we don't go there. We just focus on what we want to see in our imagination and keep doing that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I thought it was something very powerful that I keep rereading to remind myself that I get to choose what I see in my reality despite my 3D circumstances. Now, I want to let you guys know that I do have a 7-Day Mental Diet workshop coming up. If you would like to know more about that, you can check the description box down below. All I can say is that I do these every single month in some way in my membership, the Sweet Spot membership, and it's going to be a time. I mean, we always leave our seven-day mental diet resets, manifesting things, and just feeling more safe and secure in our belief that we are the operant power. All right, so you guys have a beautiful day wherever you are, and I just believe that this message is going to reach you when you need to hear it. Bye. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.